Oh, it's that time of the year again, Saturday night before you go to bed. Turn those clocks back an hour because the time change happens early Sunday morning mm -hmm. before most of us are awake. I know mm -hmm. one clock, though, is a little harder to change, and that's the one inside your brain. A small part called the SCN affects your sleep, your focus, even your mood. And THV 11's Mercedes McKay shows us when your inner clock doesn't match the outer one, there's a health impact. This weekend, we are ringing in November, meaning colder temperatures, the holiday season, and that time change. And for everyone wondering whether setting back the clock can set back your health too, the doctor we asked says it can. Dr. Victoria Flynn, a psychiatry professor at UAMS, says the spring forward is harder on us, but this time change has impacts of its own. Anytime the sleep schedule is shifting, um, that can affect cortisol levels in the body. It can affect basically the stress response in the body. Aside from feeling groggy in the morning, doctors tend to see more seasonal patterns for mental health and mental illness in fall and winter. Whenever there's less sunlight, days are shorter, that does tend to increase any um, decompensation or mental health symptoms. Flynn says some studies show an increase in car accidents this weekend because people have that extra hour to stay and could be driving later at night. That may not be so much related to the time change. It may be our behavioral response to that time change. So what are some tips to combat the time change and sleep schedule and how you feel personally? First, Stay consistent with your sleep schedule. Flynn says waking up at the same time, even on the weekend, especially after this time change, allows you to adjust more quickly. Second, your body needs to see bright light in the morning. It helps keep your body clock running smoothly, preventing that foggy, jet-lagged feeling. Whether it means walking the dog in the morning or using a special light box, morning light can chase away the winter blues. But Flynn points out physically getting out of bed is key. And third, her final tip, a vitamin D supplement can improve wintertime mood. Now, how long will it take your body to adjust to this time change? Flynn says you will feel the switch the most two to three days after, but it could take until midweek until you're fully adjusted. So, remember the risks and these tips as you get ready to turn those clocks back an hour tomorrow night.